Ah. Good afternoon, Foundation staff. This is level 4 researcher Theron Sherman. And I'll tell you what, today's briefing gives me the heebie-jeebies. We're talking about SCP-2678. Object class, safe. Special containment procedures. The access point has been resealed and disguised as a bookshelf. All previously scheduled explorations have been cancelled. Description. SCP-2678 is an extra-dimensional space, solely accessible to those holding Catholic beliefs through a previously barred door in the basement of the Siena Cathedral in Siena, Italy. A metal placard beside the door reads, SCP Foundation Department of Abnormalities. Those who enter the doorway will emerge into a small tarped outpost built around a freestanding exit. Inside the outpost is a biomedical laboratory refrigerator, stocked with samples of blood and bone taken throughout SCP-2678. Several audio recorders, ranging from wax strip models to magnetic tape machines. A computer terminal requesting Foundation credentials. All attempts to access it have resulted in rejections for insufficient clearance. The score for a choral prelude titled Soul Gogata. The incomplete skeleton. Hyoid, hip bone, and both forearms are missing. Of a prepubescent male, covered by a sheet on a steel table. Cause of death unknown. The outpost is located on the outskirts of a 324.6 square kilometer city in Italian Gothic architecture style, comprised exclusively of cathedrals, palaces, and churches floating in a red-orange void. A perpetual rainstorm composed of human blood has covered the city since initial discovery, delaying navigational efforts and staining the buildings red. While appearing to be marble, chemical analysis of the structural material used within the city has revealed all buildings to be made of osseous material taken from male children between 7 to 12 years of age. No life, human or otherwise, has been observed to exist within SCP-2678. Despite this, all visitors are reporting hearing a discordant, high-pitched melody echoing faintly from somewhere within the maze of buildings. Audio recording equipment malfunctions within SCP-2678, with such devices only picking up the sound of falling blood at an immensely high volume. Explorers who follow the melody will be able to trace it to an exact replica of the Siena Cathedral, with previously mentioned environmental changes. The cathedral is entirely empty, except for a single pipe organ, which is at its longest pipes cut in half, and the corresponding pedal boards torn out. The pressing of a key will result in the memory of a note by a male juvenile voice, ranging from approximately 7 to 12 years of age, with each key having a unique corresponding voice. As with a regular pipe organ, the notes can be sustained as long as the key is pressed, though this will result in what is reported as an increasingly panic shift in tone from the voice as the key is held down for extended periods of time. While the organ is playing a note, the blood rain will transmute into water by unknown means. No matter how long the organ is played, the buildings will remain stained. Long-term testing of explorers and members of the research team has revealed several behavioral changes, tentatively believed to be linked to hearing the organ music playing within SCP-2678. These include a greater appreciation for choir music, increased belief in structural religion, increased faith in authority figures, higher levels of doubt to those of a lower social or economic class, a reluctance to report crimes committed by other members of the Foundation. Symptoms do not appear to fade with time. Addendum. Testing the organ was conducted on December 20, 2019 in order to determine the upper limit of its sustain, as no attached wind box could be found. The longest recording testing of a key lasted 23 minutes, at which point the C7 key splintered beyond functionality. The remaining fragments were noted as bleeding for several days. Ugh. All right, staff, that ends our broadcast. Use the Foundation Encrypted YouTube account to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, and support our broadcast at patreon.com site 42.